Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're going to try and pick up the M1AB machines for this video. If you recall, I wasn't doing very well at working my way through them because I was spending far too long on each machine doing a full, you know, 30, 40 minutes on EastEnders, then Coronation Street, then Noel's House Party. So I have set myself a target for this video to get three done in one. I am going to do Gladiators, Inferno, and wild zone i'm going to do three in this video maybe spend 10 minutes each and i'll make an effort to actually get through them i'm going to start with inferno now i don't know which order chronologically the actual machines were released in but i do know what order the layouts were released in and this one here inferno is the oldest of these dx's because Retrofruit was so good at doing uh, in nice informative readme files, we have all the details that we need here. He even gives you a little bit of uh, extra information about to the how the machines to the left and right are for effect only and cannot be played on this layout. Uh, he's even been a little bit cagey about whether or not <laughs> their display does not necessarily mean that we have sufficient resources in order to produce a future layout so he's got all bases covered there and the actual release date on this according to the bar at the top of the layout is august 2003 so we're just about 15 years old on this one i think the next one after that was gladiators this one is august 2004 is our release date on this one we're even now getting a little bit of a description of the machine itself things that are going on how to play that kind of thing and then we're going to finish off and we've actually got uh, extra uh, gubbins here about uh, w when you can release it on other sites and all that kind of thing can't sell it on uh, emulation cds finishing off with wild zone and this must have been one of the very last M1A Madness um, DXs. Must have been one of the last ones. Oop, this one is... Um, ooh, blah, 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 blah. Doing well there, Degsy. Congratulations. That's very fucking professional. May 2007. Was the one after this? I can't remember. I'm now getting a, a little book included as well in the README file. So that's the three that I'm going to go through on this machine. Like, uh, on this machine... On this video, even by crikey, not not quite uh, not quite firing on all cylinders here. Let's get going though with <coughs> oh and a cough as well. I may as well just fucking throw the whole thing in the bin now. Right, this big 1280. This is when 1280 was a pretty bold resolution to be using for a layout back in August 2003. This did, there was a little bit of consternation about this because uh, quite a few people did not have 1280 capable monitors. And if memory serves, in fact, I think he actually says this in the README file that you have to use. There we are, MFME V1.1, which, as memory serves, did not support scaling. I think the actual, you know, the, the scaling to fit your resolution, I think, was an MFME V3 thing. So. On this layout, if you didn't have a 1280 screen, you were basically a bit stuffed, I think. So let's put it, we'll give it a fiver. Now, I've tried to get the sound right here, because the sound is so good on these old Maygays. Oh, that's the doors, I think, isn't it? Oh, that's, that's a good start. A shuffle, a bonus of a shuffle on two icons, which it is impossible for it to actually give you anything on that. Um, well, there's no reason not to respin there, I don't think, is there? And um, we haven't quite got a line. Could hold the two of a kind, but we'll... Oh, that's got to be something, surely, right? Shuffle, well, it could technically avoid it, but I don't... Well, that was a great shuffle, did you see what it... Oh, come on, it wouldn't even dare, surely. That is a sly as fuck. If Would you even believe it could not... It could <laughs> manage not to give you a feature there. Oh, no! That was stupid. I actually had a bloody... I had a skill bonus then. And as you can see, I was... Let's see if we can get three olds on that. Now, Inferno is a little bit of a, an outlier for me on from all of these M1AB machines because I never played a real one. I don't think I have ever even seen a real one of these outside of the emulator. I don't think I have ever seen one of these. Oh, come on. A good mood here. We'll hold the bonus. That's got to be it now. Unless it gives me another dicky shuffle. That's got to be it. We've got to be it. There we are. So we're on. 
Is that, that's Banana Rama, I think, isn't it? Let's see how we get going. So, yeah, where, where was I? Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one. I don't think I've ever... Well, I, I'm sure I haven't played one, but I don't even think I've seen one. Don't know if this one just didn't do very well, or, it, you know, it didn't sell that many. Was it a failed test machine or what? Don't know. Never seen one. But Soup Hold, that, that's a... That's a £3 plus repeat. Because it's going to... No, there isn't a 7 there, but we'll have... And as memory serves, you get Nirvana on this, on the repeat chance. Let's just have a listen. Yep. Smells like Teen Spirit by Nirvana, so... No repeat for me. So, it's, it's... I don't really have anything in the way of tales or stories for this machine. Because I've just never seen or played a real one. When it came in the emulator, we got a classic for this first. It was first released in classic form. Which was great, it was good fun to play, and I enjoyed the machine. It, it seems to me as good as any other May game machine of the time. But then, of course, the, the final piece in the puzzle was when we got the Retro Fruit or the M1A Madness DX for it. I don't believe this has ever been replaced over the years. I think this is still the preferred layout for this machine. What's that? I can't remember, but the music is on the uh, high low. Oh, that's a... Uh, oh, God, I can't. That's, I can't put a name to that one. Is it? Oh, as ever, it's all familiar tunes on these Megas. So we'll exchange over. And one thing you can do, which I'm hoping we'll get to demonstrate here, is you can uh, super hold... Let's just use the... Yeah, there we can. Nothing great there. Oh, dear. Advanced high-low. Now, when you're on the high-low like this, you can actually high-low up. Can you see here? So... Don't recognise that sound. Another great little sound. Let's have a gamble, because you can actually high-low your way up. All the way, if you fancy it. All... Oh! Well, I could have collected cash pot there. The cash pot was three quid, so I could, have, I could have had cash pot plus repeat chance. Come on, that's got to be a feature. There we are. I mean, the more lines that you get at feature entry, the further you go up the board. But I don't, it doesn't really make much difference, is the truth, in, in all honesty. And one thing it can do is it can just use these secret passages... As it uh, lands on it there. It can use these secret passages to, to muck you around absolutely as much as it wants to. I think there's one right up at the top here. Yeah, just past four quid. So you kind of think that you get in there, and it will happily use these secret passages to bounce you around all day. If the mood takes it. So let's see where we can get up to. I mean, I suppose we should have a get a, a, a go at collecting the features. Shall we have a skill shot? Let's see how I can do on the skill shot. Probably not very well. You can't slow it down. Can's cancel doesn't... Look at this. This was before we had clickable, um, clickable buttons. You have to use the... Uh, the mouse play thing here was was what was the workaround that we had at the time because there were no clickable graphics. There were clickable buttons, but there weren't clickable graphics. I think that was the problem. There we are. Now it's getting a little bit. Oh God, we should be able to it. There we are. So I think it stops at three quid. I think you can only take it up to three quid plus repeat chance. There we are. One more to go. Oh, that's going okay. Let's have to focus here. Oh, that four! That was five thousand miles out. That was dodgy. That was that was really not good. Sorry, really dead. Yeah, no repeat. Let's let's not have a repeat to that. Nobody needs to see that again. So, in terms of things to say, that this is probably the that my least chatty machine. Simply, can we get? I don't think we can't. There's not even a symbol up there. Simply because I have no recollection of playing the real thing, but it still holds up as a machine to play, as a layout to play, and it is one of those that I do fire up from time to time. I would say it's every bit as good as any one of the other M1AB machines. Uh, very, very similar in format. I, I think I said in one of the early videos that I'm, I'm sure that the kind of basic profile code for a lot of this era of Megas was largely interchangeable. They all feel very much the same in how, or very similar at least. Uh, did I have a skill shot matrix shot there? I'm rushing along a bit because I'm mindful of the fact I'm coming up to ten minutes already. Let's. I just want to. Let's just see if we can get. Let's just see if we can get to the top and get a, get a quick big money. It shouldn't take too long, because we are on. Retro Fruit used to set all his layouts to an 84 or 86%, so they all give a fairly reasonable game. Um, I can't... Re it does have a streak in it, this. Once in a while, it will come round on a streak. 
Well, I've got to be in there. Can't remember if it's Street the last time I played it, but even then, we shouldn't be a we shouldn't be a million miles away from being able to take it out to a big money. I don't see that there's any point gambling there because it can sometimes kill you on those on good numbers. So, so unless you're after something very specific, it's a two up, two down the soup hole, isn't it? I'm not going to take skill shot again. I mean, cash pot is basically there. Cash pot would be a three pound repeater if I collected it. So ordinarily, I would be collecting the cash pot here. I just want to have a quick see if we can get out to the big money. Now, there is an instant death square up here. Stop and nudge, I think. It should be three quid or six quid if, you get, uh, if you're good enough at it. Burnt Out is my instant game over square, and it has hit it. It has just gone to the instant game over square that's got up there. Which I think is a little bit harsh. I don't see why they had to put a straight game over square up there. Because it has got a mystery straight before the big money that it can and will use. And it can just give you burnt out off the mystery. And that will have to say that it's game over. But obviously Mayday felt that they had to have an extra game over square up there as well. We're doing particularly well here, are we? Let's just see if we can get on that board and take it out to... Um, Take it out to big money. Cash climb isn't a bad feature, and that's got a park life sample. I'm sure that's got a park life by blur sample on it when you collect cash climb. The one thing that all of this era of Maygays have going for them, without fail, is a great sample pack. They just... Oh, come on. No. They never miss the mark with their sound packs, I don't think, Maygay. Come on. Let's just see. Any chance that we can just get on those? I'm in a little bit of a nasty mood, and this, this is the thing with all of this era of Maygays, even on this six-pound jackpot. If you caught them in a grotty mood, they could do a surprising amount of damage. They, um, I've got another bonus there, haven't I? So let me get the other bone. I don't want to respin away from the bonus, so I can obviously I can get another line there. I mean, it doesn't, like I said, all it'll do is just boost you a little bit up the board, but because of these secret passages, the board is very fluid anyway. It's not really a start-to-finish trail, so because it can simply bounce you back at will, so it's there's, there's not a huge amount of value on, on getting a massive number of lives, although I think if you fill the whole lot, it immediately gives you a jackpot. So, But between those, that there's not really a huge amount of difference on what you start it on. Ordinarily, you could have a little gamble. See, I mean, cash pot there. We'll go on. We'll have a higher on a two. Oh, now do we want to go? I could collect that. We'd hear the park life sample there, but I just want to... Mm. Go on, we'll carry on. Not a three, not a three. Oh, and then, of course, it can do that. And yeah, okay. Uh, cash accumulator, if you fill it all up, is theoretically six quid, but I've... Now, we could have a jackpot there. Well, if it's prepared to give me off a, a jackpot off nudges, surely... Oh, bugger off. Surely it's prepared to give me a big money. Come on. Oh, that's not going to go to... Burnt out, is it? Okay, uh... What I'm going to do is pause the video and <laughs> bring it back when it looks like I'm about to get to... Uh, oh, with a nudge there, I can get that because I've already up to 14 minutes and I've not even got Inferno yet. But I am now determined. I think we'll, we'll have to get... Let's just see what happens on this feature. If it doesn't let me get there on this feature, I will pause the video and bring it back. Let's just have a higher on that. That should be okay. Okay, so we don't want a 3, a 5, or a 7. No, we don't want a 1, a 3, or a 5. You bugger. Right, I'll bring it back when I'm back up there. And the next board wasn't having it either. It just went straight... Uh, Rolled an 8 from, from here to put me straight on Burnt Out, so thank you for that. And now it's giving me the annoying collect prize thing, which is called Run Wild, off this mystery here. And it's gone to 12 nudges, well, which is a £3 repeat, trust, but not too bad, off a collect prize. Let's see if we can get a repeat. No repeat. I am going to keep plugging away at this until I get big money. Okay, we are getting up into the area now. Oh, come on. Surely there's chances that it's going to use that secret bloody passage, isn't it? Okay, we're still in contention. That has a void. I've got... Oh, come on. No! Oh, oh. 
<laughs> it's been me off with two quid. It's in a bad mood, this. It really is killing me. Left, right, and center on the feature. Uh, I know I've got £10 on in the bank, but I put a lot more than that in. Uh, we're going to stay on target, though, and we are going to have a big money out of it. Okay, we're getting up there. Let's have a... Oh, I'm not going to risk it on an eight. I'm going to have to do it this way. Oh, piss off. Okay, we've just got a secret passage up to near the top. Can we avoid burnt out? No, we can't. Come on, you bastard. Okay, we are in the area. Can we... Yes, we've done it. And that's a familiar sampler that has been used, of course, elsewhere by Mege. You're not guaranteed six quid. It can give you three quid off this, but it has given me the jackpot. And it's a nice repeat. It's a three, six or spin repeater. It's cost a few bob to get. So we have got a three pound repeater. Good. Any chance of any more? No. So we got nine quid off it for a total take of £19.40. Oh, is there some kind of old... Looks like it might be an old cash on this because it's paid out the whole lot in cash. So how did I do... Blimey! 43 quid in for 20 quid out. And that's... And bearing in mind that this is on a slightly more generous payout than, than you'd get in the... Um, well, I should be able to see it on the config screen yet. Well, 80%. I'm sure it said in the uh, readme that he had he had it set more generous than that. 84% it says there. So I don't know, maybe the configure it, maybe it's down to something else. But whether it's 80 or 84, that is a more generous payout than you would get in the pub. And even then, as you can see, I'm best part of £25 down. So they can be a little bit nasty, even on these smaller jackpots. They can be a fairly brutal machine. Well, I mean, brutal by the standards of the time. You are going back to the early 90s here. This is, you know, like 93, 94, something like that. So, to no, we don't want to save that. We'll keep it in the trusty old DAT format. So, losing 25, 30 quid on a machine, which was very, very possible on any of these Megas. Catch and wrong. They will have 25, 30, 35 pounds off you. And that was not a trivial amount of money in the early 90s. So, let's go straight on to Gladiators. This one, back from August 2004. Very, very similar kind of... Oh, there we are, straight in. I love this machine. I think it's fantastic. And it was very, very popular as well. This one was all over the place. Back in the day. Got full sample sound pack, so we've got the proper, uh, proper Gladiators music. Now, the first thing you want to be careful of here is... Um, we, we've got a... That shouldn't kill. Me. Oh, come on. Oh dear. Well, that, we didn't do very well there, did we? First one, there is a bite the dust square there, which is game over square. It does like to use that. That hit or run thing can have you. I mean, like, it, it's got all kinds of ways of killing you. Like all Megas, on the nudges, you want to be going for the feature hold rather than the uh, symbol hold. Far more happier, uh, far more happy even to give you a hold after nudges for the feature as opposed to an actual win. Now, I tend... Oh, come on. That, that won't kill me. Uh, I tended not to really collect a huge... I mean, some people always just used to collect the Eliminator. It didn't matter wherever they were. They would just collect the Eliminator because you guaranteed something out there, the sort of pie in the middle, plus a re repeat chance. Joust, I think you could take that out to three quid. It's just a skill stop, and you can take it out to three quid, but I don't think it has the repeat chance on it. So, I mean, that guarantees me there £1.60 and then a repeat chance. It's not a repeat chance on £1.60. It's a repeat chance on anything in the wheel. And as you can see, the further that I go around, it knocks things out of the, uh, the sort of wheel or the pie in the middle. I mean, I would always push on here. If, if I got to this point, I would push on. There is a game over square. So I can take the jackpot, which is six quid, or I can push on for the eliminator, which will be a three or six pound repeater. It can, of course, kill me on this, which I think would be, yeah, it doesn't often do it. And I would have... I have, didn't tend to... I don't know why I tended not to collect very much on this. I had a terrible habit of just pushing on for the three to six pound repeater at the top, which can give three quid and then not repeat, which is rather annoying when you consider that I had a six pound jackpot there. And it's done it. So that's three pound, no repeat, and I could have actually had a straight... Oh, I should have held them... Uh, should have held them bells there. All the usual stuff works, your three holds work. The hold after nudges works like all the other Maygays, where it doesn't take a credit off you. 
that you get the hold after nudges on the same credit that you actually get the nudges. Uh, three holds on single bars is slightly optimistic, but it can do it. It can actually do. Basically, there, I'm actually out of credits. I've got no credits in it, but it has done the hold after nudges on the actual credit that I got the nudges. Ready! So we'll move our way round. Nudge pot's looking okay for a jackpot here, isn't it? Don't want a three. That's so I could have a six pound jackpot there. I mean, let's just see if we can collect a... Shall we see if we can land on a feature and collect a feature? See, I think that's that's faith no more, I think, isn't it? Oh, that'd be very nice if that killed me. Next event, swing, swing shot. shot. Shall we see if I can... I'm going to see if I can stop it on atmospheres. If I can stop it on atmospheres at the corner, I'll collect it. Oh, there we are. Let's see how much I get. Bear in mind that this is a jackpot board. It has already offered me a jackpot. Let's see what it gives me. So there's one. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? One pound. Jackpot board. Collect Atlas Fears. One quid. Game over. It's uh, it's a little bit all over the place, isn't it? And th the features are a little bit... They're all kind of a little bit bizarre in what they do or don't do. Atlasphere is one that can go fairly big. Skytrack, I think they've all... I think they've got repeat chances. I think Skytrack's got a repeat chance. Whereas Atlasphere just does a, a straight game over. And if I can land on the features, I'll collect the features and we'll have a quick look at them. We've already seen the... Oh, no. Well, oh. Okay, run, go for it. That's fine. Don't get. We have got to bite the dust up here. Which, as it just demonstrated there. Rather annoying, pissy little um, 60p win off it. Let's just see if we can get. I think Polax is a um, Polax is kind of a skill stop as well. If I can land on the Polax, I will embarrass myself on that. Could do with getting a win as well. If you can get a real win, I remember that the music on this is unbelievable by EMF. Now it's doing that really annoying hold where I've got the three, look at the diagonal line across the middle there. Oh, it has landed one. And each extra line, it does feel a bit more valuable on this because each extra line, similar to uh, Inferno, it pushes you further around the board. But unlike Inferno, it doesn't have that those dirty... Oh, there we are, I'll collect that. It doesn't have those dirty little bloody secret passages to mug you off with. I think I can do this, come on. There we are. I think it stops at three quid, or can you take it to six quid? Oh god, I did actually miss that as well. I, I sort of kind of yap. Yap at the same time. Do I, I do get a repeat chance. I'm not sure that would be an entirely good idea. I think Joust is just a little, um, it's a little skill stop on the Alpha, I think, with, uh, well, there we go, let's get a win, so we can get a win, we can hit, I'm sure it's unbelievable. Yeah, and I think it actually sings when you gamble as well. We'll have another gamble, there's only slightly annoying thing here, oh, I can, I can high-low for a jackpot, which is good because the, the three pound isn't a repeater, you've got to, there we are. So we can gamble for the jackpot. So there's no actual £3 repeater for the blue bars. They're just such good looking and good sounding machines. Far more so, I mean, considering that the technology that, that modern fruit machine manufacturers have available to them. I know they've done things with like LED lights and, and that kind of thing. And they've all got kind of fancy light strips around some of them and, and that kind of thing, but I still don't think a modern fruit machine actually looks as good and shows as much imagination as these old machines did with, with far inferior technology, let's be honest. And I don't know why they abandoned the sample thing now, and that may be something to do with copyright, because obviously the vast majority of samples on this era of fruit machines are basically pinched. They were just lifting them from wherever they fancied, and maybe something has changed on copyright law or something like that over the years. Or they just got a little... Oh dear. There we are. They just got a little bit more um, visibility, and they couldn't get away with doing that. I don't know the exact... Oh, come on. I think that's going to have me in it. No, no, got away with it. But it certainly gave the machines a little bit more... Oh, bollocks. A little... Oh, shall we have a Skytrax? A little bit more flavour, because it was all like a spot the sample on them. We'll collect that. The there we are. So you've got to try... I'm not quite sure how many one pound... Oh, there we are. I think that's going to be the most, isn't it? That looks pretty good. 
I think that was the most I could have got off a single hit there. And it's exactly three pound, but I think I do get... Oh, no, oh dear, three pound. Oh, no, four quid. Ugh. I think I get a repeat chance on that as well. Do I get a repeat chance? Yes. That's queen sample. Uh, we're not doing very well. It was... It was a little bit mean on the repeats, this. I do remember it being a little bit grisly on the repeats. It did have a streak. Like all of these Maygays, it had a, a nice solid £30 streak in it, but it tended to do it. In my experience, it tended to do it just more with a sequence of three and six pound wins in, in quick succession rather than going nuts on the actual repeater. So we will not take the eliminator, but I am. Mm. Next event, swing shot. Let's see if I can stop it in that joust. No, nope, Mister, don't want the um, like the dust. Well, Atlas phase was you know. I mean, it literally couldn't be worse than that. Like, almost literally couldn't. Now, we are getting into. Let's, let's push it out. For, oh, come on. Now, that's a repeat chance, but I don't think it matters if you get to the rematches uh, feature again. Let's just see if we can get a jackpot off this. No. Three quid again. I'd like a repeat on this because I did. No. No, no, no. So you can turn out jackpot and just get to the end. And yeah, your rematch there, your rematch gives you like a feature repeat chance or a feature repeat if you get a bite the dust, but it doesn't do anything if you get to the to the end and you get the eliminator, it kind of disappears, which is another little annoyance with it. So, it's a great machine. I, I'm pretty sure that the uh, M1A Madness layout is still the one to play for this. I... I I guess the problem with these M1A Madness layouts is they're so good that even though they are all cracking on a bit now, if you would look at this as a layout designer today, you know, yeah, I guess you'd almost be thinking, well, what could you really do that was that much better? Even though these layouts are now, you know, 14, 15 years old, they hold up today. And Retro Fruit, of course, was very, very meticulous about getting the resources for them. He made sure that he had absolutely the best resources available and, and wouldn't, as, as memory serves, he wouldn't actually do a layout unless he, you know, DX layout. He also did classics as well, but certainly for his DX layouts, as far as I'm aware, he just wouldn't undertake them unless he had basically everything available in terms of, you know, original button scans. You can see there he's got a proper high-low reel with all the gladiators characters on it and that kind of thing. So it may well be that he had access to better resources back then than would be available to layout designers today. Oh, I, see, I, I was being a bit greedy there. I could have collected the Eliminator, and I would have got at least £2.40. And it, that was the kind of stupid thing that I used to do back in the day. I had a terrible, terrible habit of just pushing on for the end, even though the last stop there before you get to the end is £2.40, £3.00, or £6.00. And it will repeat if it wants to. I think that was that was the thought process that some people had, was it can repeat on any of them. So even if you just collect it, and I did know people who would just religiously... Oh, by the way, there are no lose gamble here, so if I lose, I just get the feature anyway. Who just religiously collected. As soon as they landed on an Eliminator, it didn't matter where it was, they would just collect Eliminator. And their, their thinking was that, that if it wanted to, it would repeat. I want to go against there, because I don't want a basic jackpot. Higher than a two there, you would say that that was a jackpot gamble, so I would expect the feature to be happy to offer me something decent. Uh, we haven't had the wall yet. Shall we collect the wall? Because I can't... I think I think it goes up. It's a step up or down. And any of the gladiator symbols on the win line award a, an amount into a, a cash total, yes. Doo -doo. So but the thing with these, it's one of them where it just goes as far as it wants to go. Which, in that case, was not very far at all. Can we get a repeat, at least? We are not doing well on the repeats here, are we? It's been a little bit mince. Not in quite as bad a mood as Inferno was. I will have a look at my stats at the end of the session, but... What I have a habit of doing is, when I play these machines, and I do fire up all of these M1AB machines from time to time, what I would do, dear, this, this could go wrong. Bit harsh. I do have a habit of playing them out until I, I get sort of at least a little mini streak back. So I often leave them in quite a bad mood from one session to the next. And I'm 
kind of getting the feeling that, that that's certainly what it looks like I did with Inferno the last time I played it. And it may well be that uh, Gladiators is in a similar state. Let's, I'm going to try and get Joust here. There we are, because I think it's just a little skill stop on the Alpha. Yeah, there we are. Let's see if I can do better than I did at... Um... Oh! <laughs> oh! Dear me. Dear me. It's a very... What can I say? What, what excuse can I possibly come up with? It's a very, very sunny afternoon here on the Isle of Man, and I can't see my screen very well. How about that? Will that do? That's my story, and I am sticking to it. So I think we've seen enough of Gladiators here. It is one that I played an awful lot. Like I say, these were a very, very popular machine in both arcades and pubs. And I always liked these Maygays, so I played this one plenty back in the day. But I do remember I've got very, very clear memories of getting some pretty awful kickings on this. And to be honest, all of the Maygays, because if you caught them wrong, they were all capable of knocking you about the head a bit. And th th these were these were the machines that could kind of bring an, an early end to the night. If you caught, oh, I had a six pound there, you know, catch them wrong. And I say that they could have 25, 30, 35 quid off you, and that was enough to bring a premature end to the evening. If I can just hit that eliminator, I'll collect it. There we are. So let's let's not let's give it one final eliminator. It can, of course, give me as little as two pound forty now, which it. Has it has gone for the 240? Can we at least get a repeat? We haven't had a repeat. A repeat. What's the fox repeat? No, can't get a repeat on absolutely anything. I'm afraid. So, oh, one last feature. Go on then. One last feature. We'll have one last feature. Uh, if you fill the matrix up completely, by the way, it does take you straight to the end. But I think, as I said before, unlike Inferno, where the extra lines don't really matter because it's got the secret passage, it is worth it on this because it does genuinely put you closer to the end of the feature. If we can just avoid that. Okay, we're going to have to call it there. Let's let's collect that out. Let's get, let's get one more feature off these last couple of credits. Oh, I have! So that's the thing with these old machines. It's just the feature frequency. It's just the frequency with which something happens. And if you look at... You can easily pay sort of 10, 15, 20 pounds for a feature now, which is just awful, and which, which can block at like a fiver. So I, I'm repeating myself now. Oh, fuck off. I, it's We've lost sight of what an AWP should be. Amusement with prizes. That has just gone. But back then, the, the stake was right and the jackpot was right. Although I don't... Oops, today is it? What what me stats? Oh, that's not too... Oh, there we are. 31 in and 31 out. So even Stevens on that one haven't done too bad there. Nope. I'm, 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 I'm going to be refusing. I am a MFME Luddite. I am keeping all my old dat base layouts in DAT format. And I'm just... Uh, ha I have version 5.1 of the emulator and 6.1 coexisting on my PC. And I simply use 5.1 for all the DAT-based layouts. The other thing is, if, if you find something that doesn't work properly, you then can just use a MFME V3 or even two. You know, th there are some weird little um, incompatibilities, and I like to keep my old DAT-based layouts as DATs, and for the new stuff, I'm happy to use six for the FMLs, but if it was a DAT-based layout, it can stay as a DAT-based layout for me, if that was how it was originally. So this is the one that we got a, a proper little... Um, accompanying <laughs> pamphlet really with this one released in may 19th 2007 great uh informative readme file from retro fruit there as was his uh as, as was his calling card at the time let's have a go at this one now i do remember playing this one it's very very similar to it is very similar to the james bond machine that Maygay did, which was never been emulated. We just haven't had, we've never had a layout for the James Bond Maygay machine, which is a real shame, but this is very, very similar to it. I don't think they're quite clones of each other. And this one has got some of the best, this is just a godly sample package on this one. So let's listen to that for a second. Th 
this really is uh, a machine that I can a layout that I can fire up just to enjoy the kind of visuals and the sound on it. You, you can load it up, just just put ten or twenty quid through it and just enjoy it. Now it can be a dirty bastard here and give you a tilt. You see that tilt there? Now I think stop and step was actually if the machine was jackpot ready, it, it would let you hit this. Oh god, what are my chances here? Not okay, I'll have a go. Oh, I can't even see that. Come on, Dexy. Oh, no, I'm not really sure I can see my placer on that. I don't... How far off was I? Oh, dear. Oh, well, there's a couple off. Not to. I believe that that will let you have it. If the jackpot's there, it will let you have that. And it can go at different speeds as well. And usual rules apply. Go for the, uh, the sort of pinball symbols off the nudges if you can. Another one, slightly annoyingly, that doesn't have a £3 repeater. I don't really know why some Maygays have. We'll go for that. That might hold. Yep, there we are. Don't know why some of them have a £3. Straight £3 on the blue double bars. And some of them have a £3 repeater. I do much prefer it when they've got a £3 repeater. Because £3 repeater was always a nice target on a £6 jackpot machine. That's Phil Collins, isn't it? Let's a little bounce around. Uh, there are several features that we can collect along the way. Multiball is a bit shit. That's kind of it. It'll give you what it wants to. Eliminator is quite nice. I'll collect Eliminator if I can land on that. And Shoot to Win is a good one as well. I mean, there is an element of, of how many shots it gives you or how fast it makes things go or if it wants to give you a repeat chance. It will dot to... It can control things if it needs to, but you, you feel at least that you've got a little bit of player control on those. And you can collect this at any time and you get that amount plus eight. In fact, if that gets to three quid, I might collect it. Okay, we should be alright off this as long as it doesn't land me on a flipper and then bin me. Oh. Just avoid tilt. And another one. Oh, that's a collecty prize. Slightly annoying. Probably going to be... Oh, we've got, well, we've got a feature at least. We can have a look up multiball. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I can't quite place the sample. But you can see what I mean. There's no skill involved here. It just dapples around and you get what you're given. So it can give you six lots of 20p if it wants to. I think you get a repeat chance on it at the end. We'll, we'll wait. I never really collect this one, so the fact it's given me uh, off there off the collect prize means that at least we get six. I would never normally collect that. Oh yeah, we get a quick yes or no repeat. And we're not doing very well on those. Again, this was another one that I've got to be honest, it was a little bit a little bit mean on its repeats, this one. And the other thing about this is you can get right at the end, you can get to the crazy cash here and not get a jackpot. It wasn't unique to just Wild Zone, I mean, East Enders could do it, Coronation Street could do it. You could get right to the end. There we are. Now I've got a no lose gamble. You could get right to the end and get less than the jackpot. This one loves to do four quid, which is slightly annoying. Now, the thing is, I do in a way, I actually want to lose here. Oh, God, it, it won. I'm going to go I'm gonna go lower than one because I don't really want to get to the top because the top is just a straight three quid. And what I really want is my. Three pound plus uh, uh, some kind of repeater, a feature that can repeat, or a cash amount that can repeat, something like that. I don't like, and, and I never liked on the real machines, just a straight three quid. It just felt somehow it felt substantially less good than a three pound plus repeat chance. Even though three pounds plus repeat chance often didn't repeat, it was having that chance psychologically that I think was important to me. At least we're avoiding. It's been quite kind to it. It does love to use that tilt square. Okay, we'll have a go at this. Okay, this is a bit weird. Now. The, that's right. You go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Right. Okay. There's a, there's a real kind of delay as well from when you press it to where it stops. Okay, it's actually going quite fast now. Uh, right, I've just got to be honest. I think it's going to be going over speed now that I'm just going to be hitting and hoping. Yeah, okay. No, already gone. Two try. I can't really. 
No, come on. Is that me being really shit? Oh, there. Well, no, that's three quid, I think, isn't it? That's fine. I mean, four would be the jackpot. So that's three quid, and it does come with a repeat chance as well. What's the shortcut? I'm sure Retro Fruit would have put in the readme. What's the... Um Oh, that's the gladiators. I've closed the play. I'm sure he would have had a shortcut for that. No, no repeat there. There will be a button for that. I just don't know what it is. Or a keyboard shortcut for that, rather. But I'm just having to click on it because I don't know what it is and I've closed the readme file. There we are. So whilst I do have memories of this, not as many as gladiators, of the three machines that I've covered, um, Inferno, I don't remember at all. Never played it. This one definitely did play it, definitely some memories of it, but not one that I remember playing a huge a huge amount. Of the three, it is definitely Gladiators that I absolutely ragged back in the day. Now let's just see if we can get past that tilt screen. There we are, it's been, and I have got a shoot again here as well, so I've caught this one in a fairly sanguine mood, I think. It's not playing too bad. Okay, could have. I'm surprised it didn't give me a tilt there. Oh, from bounce me from one flip to the next. There's the tilt. Well, right. Now the problem here that you may have seen is that it puts you right back to the start. That's the only issue here. And what it'll love to do if it's if it's be, if it's been a funny bugger with me, it'll now land on tilt. That's the risk now that it's going to use this tilt. It's a three. Yeah, there we are. That's that's its way of being a bugger. So, slightly annoying there, and that's, yeah, that, that's the kind of stuff that it pulled. Let's just see if we can get back onto the feature one more time. I would like to get to the end. I think what I'll do, a little bit like um, on Inferno, I will try and get this one out to the end. Can't go for a feature hold there. I would always prefer to just... So, you have a little look up. Now, that's not going to count, of course, because I'm also going to have the bells on the reels as well. It just has to be two of the feature. Well, that's a nice simple one, isn't it? It's only a one to six, and it will sometimes lose on... See, I'm actually going to... Again, I'm going to, I'm going to deliver... I'm going to go higher than that, because I don't actually want to climb out to the three quid. Because I find the straight three pounds rather boring. And the three pound repeaters, like if you think about Cluedo and EastEnders and Coronation Street, they did like to repeat. The three pound repeaters did like to repeat once or twice on these May days. So you always felt like you were, you were cheating yourself a little bit if you just took a straight three pound cash win. And this is how I would have played the real thing. I always I've, I've take a minute. Oh, now let's have this one. This is, this is like it will go around the trail. One, that's it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna embarrass myself again here, aren't I? Let's see how far I can take it. It's actually going quite slow as well. I should be doing well off this. There we are. Come on. Right, so there's three quid. Okay, speeding up a little bit. And I've missed it. Okay, well that's fine. That's three pound, and I'm pretty sure that comes with a repeat. So I'd be happy with that. That's oh. Don't get a repeat chance off it. Okay. Unless it can do one of its random repeat chants. It doesn't actually give you the repeat off that, but you just get the, the, the whooshy wibbly noise and you get repeat chants. Can't remember. Shall we get super ambitious? They can, once in a blue moon, they can hold after nudges and they can do three holds for a jackpot. But they've got to be really, really happy to do that. And it's often a signifier that you've got the streak if they do that on the jackpot. I'm not going to be surprised if it uses the tilt square here. I'd like to be proved wrong. Uh, yeah, well, same difference, really. So what I'll do, I'll carry on playing this, and I will just try and get out to... If I can get to shoot to win, I will collect that, and then just show how utterly incompetent I am, once again, at any kind of skill stop. I'll also take it out for a crazy cash as well, because that's got a nice little sample... And it can play well, can pay well even when it wants to. Although as often as not, it can. It's a rather disappointing four quid. I've got it in my head that it's always at least four quid. I don't think it does three quid, but it does like to do four quid. I can't really get anything going there. 
So what I'll do is pause the video until I find myself in a position. We'll just we'll, we'll see this feature out. It hasn't done the long spin that we see on other. I think EastEnders does it when you get the long spin on feature entry on the uh, reels. That usually means that the jackpot's fairly close. Oh fuck off! And it's going to let you have it. So what I'm going to do now is just push this out for an end feature. And I'll, I think I'll click shoot to win, if I can land on it. Okay, we are coming round here. Yeah, we've avoided the flipper. There is a tilt down here. I've got to avoid a tilt as well. I've got 280 plus repeat chance there. Oh, no! Oh, we're there. We're there. We've done it. Okay, that will be a crazy cash. Let's see what we get off it. It's actually got quite a nice sample that, but it's kind of maxed a little bit by the horrible old-fashioned pinball noises, which the old electro or the older solid-state pinball noises. Right, so off we got two pounds, three, four. That's the danger zone. Five. Oh, well, there's six. Well, that's good. That's six quid. Seven. Okay. Well, this is actually better than it often does. There's eight. Not bad at all. Nine. Ooh, this is not a bad one. That's a tenner. Oh, ten quid. Not too bad. So we did get to the end and we got a tenner. I think I might have actually won a couple of quid on this one. Let's collect it out and see where we are up to on the stats. So I've done Gladiators, Inferno and Wild Zone in this video. I've still got to do Cluedo, Pink Panther, Return of the Pink Panther. That's life. The Simpsons, Albert Square and Monopoly. So those are still to come. But that, I think, is three great old machines there. Inferno, Gladiators and Wild Zone. I wholeheartedly recommend any of them. And, you know, if you've been around on on the FME scene forever and you haven't fired these up for a while, just return to them. They will load the old retro through M1A Madness layouts. They will load fine in version 5.1 of the emulator, but version 6 onwards uh, wizard dropped support for dat files so you'll either need 5.1 or the older version 3.2 is probably the one that you've got hanging around but if you haven't played these layouts for a few years just fire them up again you might be pleasantly surprised at two things one is just how well the dx's still hold up today they still look great and second is just how much fun they are to play and I think I mentioned this in a previous video how there's been an awful lot of 70 pound and 35 pound machines released in the last sort of year and a half in, in, in the FME scene which is great to see of course we've got the new tech Scorpion 4 and Scorpion 5 and of course the the red MPU 5 that kind of thing which has opened up all these 70 pound machines which is great to see but I've got to be honest none of them even come close to the gameplay and imagination that was available and on display in these older machines. If I was just loading up a layout to play, if I'm just loading up something for fun to entertain myself, it's going to be something like this. It's going to be something like Wild Zone. It isn't going to be, I've got to be honest, it wouldn't be a deal or no deal. It really wouldn't. And I think once the initial kind of fascination with playing these £70 jackpot machines on your PC has kind of dimmed a little bit and maybe you've done the tricks, you've done the cheats. You've, you've kind of played around with them as I did, you know, getting all the cash pots maxed out and trying to take all the cash pots out. Once you've kind of done that, you're left with a with not much in the way of an actual game. Whereas with something like Wild Zone or Inferno or Gladiators, you've actually got a solid game game underneath it all that's entertaining to play. So that's three of them done in this video, not quite in the 30 minutes I had in mind, but better than I've been doing so far. I will get the rest of them done in a follow-on video or two. But with that, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I will catch up with you next time. But for now, goodbye.